For example, if you have something up for well over a year and no one has bought it, do you just sell it super low or just take it down and be done with it? Hey guys, it is Monday, June 14th, and I have 18 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First couple things are sales I made outside of eBay. This is the uh, magnifying glass paperweight. You guys saw me pick up like two weekends ago it's been. I paid a dollar for that. It's going out to Justin for $15 free shipping. And next is a Frank and Freddy, going out to a viewer named Frank, coincidentally, for $25 free shipping. Justin and Frank, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. All right, first eBay order I'm pulling is this Two Face figure. I had two of these that I got in a bulk buy, and one of them sold last week, and the other one just sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is a Monopoly game, new in the plastic, right here. Slide it out from under these little plush dolls. I got this, I think, three weeks ago. I've got about 5 or $10 into it. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Sold a Funko Pop down here in E6. Rick and Morty, uh, Rick with the portal gun. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is an E31. It is a PC game. Let's see. It is from Spectrum Holobyte from 1989 is tank new in the plastic that sold for $14.99 plus shipping going out to your name zach zach thanks for your business i hope you like that game next thing i'm pulling is some jurassic park stickers seems like pretty much every video i sell some of these you guys might be getting tired of it and if you are i apologize because i have a lot left <laughs> um these two sold for $13.99 free shipping going out to your name cody cody thank you for the support i hope you like the stickers okay next we're coming to a5 I sold a bunch of NES games. There's a total of 11 of them. And I bundled these because they just were not worth listing individually. Most of them were going to sell, you know, around like $8 to $10 free shipping. So I might have gotten 4 or 5 bucks. Some of them were not even selling for that. They're like $5 free shipping. So I did 11 of them. We got Mario, Star Voyager, Solar Jetman, RBI Baseball. They sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Coming to B6 next. Sold a Funko down here. Let's see. This is Mirage from Apex. And this one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold a card right here in A3. I think this is the last solo card I have left from that big buy. This is a signed Michael Taylor rookie card. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. Going out to your name, Nick. Nick, thank you for the business. It means a lot. Next thing we're shipping is an NES game. Should be down here in D5. Let's see who framed Roger Rabbit. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. Sold another NES game up here in D3. Kung Fu Heroes with the sleeve. That sold for $15.99 free shipping. That game is going out to a viewer named Rick. He says, hey John, big fan. Watch the channel with my brother. Bought this game because my brother and I used to play when we were kids. We had this game, but my parents sold this game with our Nintendo in the early 90s at a yard sale. Sad day for me. That sucks, man. I've been a reseller since 2006, off and on with eBay. I am now doing it full time. I started watching your videos back in 2019 and I got hooked. I love hunting for stuff. Hopefully you can shout out my eBay store, Swerve City underscore 85. Thank you. Rick, happy to shout out your store, man. Thank you so much for the support. All right, sold some more Jurassic Park stickers. Guess I could have just went ahead and pulled these along with the other ones. These sold for the same price, $13.99 for shipping. Sold another Funko Pop down here in B6. Let's see, back here in the corner, this is Wally Warheads, that just has a really cool look to it. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping, going out to a viewer named Antonio. Antonio, thank you so much for the support. Sold another Funko Pop down here in B6, this is, let's see here, John Bender from The Breakfast Club. How cool is that? He's even got the little like leather gloves and everything. I love that. Such a good movie. A uh, viewer named Robin reached out. I had this listed for like 70 plus shipping. She offered 60 plus shipping and I accepted. Robin, thanks so much for your support. It means a lot. All right, next we're going into this room. Let's turn on the light here. Sold this Pulse Plus Massager. I've had this for quite some time. I think I had it listed originally for like $30 or something, and I kept lowering the price. Uh, I finally sold for $14.99 plus shipping, going out to a viewer named Adrian. Do keep an eye out for these guys. I think the Panasonic brand does well. They don't look like anything special, but some of them do sell for pretty good money. Adrian, thanks so much for your business. Okay, next we're going to B52 right here. I'm just going to bring this whole box over because 
make it a little bit easier. So I sold seven cans of these Right Guard Sport Original deodorants. I got these at a garage sale with some other Right Guard stuff and a razor. For these right here, I've maybe got 10 or $15 into them, something like that, because I bundled the stuff. And these seven sold for $44.99 free shipping. Sold a Star Wars game up here in D3. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire for N64. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Going to E6 next. You guys remember that Mirage Funko I sold? Well, I had two of them. And I put this one in a different box because I wanted to take accurate pictures of each one. So that, you know, each buyer knew exactly what they were getting. Uh, this one sold for the same price, $19.99 plus shipping. Last thing we're shipping out is another NES game right here in D5. This is Golf, complete with the box. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. It's Tuesday morning. I only listed five things yesterday because I had a lot of work to do around the shop. So today I only have four things going out. That's how it works. If you don't list a lot, you don't sell a lot. First thing going out is right here. This is the Easton Reflex C-Core bat I just picked up last weekend. I paid five bucks for it. And when I first found it, and I was comping it out. I looked up the model number, Bricks 100 C, and there's a model that has CX, and that's what all the sold comps were. They were like $300, $400, um, but the ones that just have a C didn't seem like they were going for nearly as much. So I listed it for $140, or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $100 plus shipping, and I accepted. Next thing going out is in D5. Matter of fact, I think two things in here sold, so let's go ahead and pull them both. First is this Jordan versus Bird NES game. Um, this thing was just in really clean condition. Part of the recent NES collection I just bought. Did an auction for this starting at a dollar and sold for $103.50 plus shipping. Next is Indiana Jones for NES. Uh, this thing still had the plastic on it and I don't think it ever like was opened up. There was like a tear in the plastic, but the game itself I don't think was ever opened. Did an auction for this as well starting at a dollar. It sold for $200.50. Plus shipping and my buddy Dave actually ended up buying that. Dave messaged me like when the auction was about to end. He's like, I'm fighting with somebody over this video game. I was like, oh wow, I didn't know you were bidding on it. Dave has a YouTube channel called Shrive Nation. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link down below in the description. Dave, thank you for bidding, man. I hope you like the game. All right, one more NES game and then we are done for the day, guys. Let's see. It is Punch Out. This is not the Mike Tyson Punch Out, just the regular old Punch Out for NES. That sold for $21.99 free shipping. It's Wednesday morning. I have a dozen eBay orders to ship out and I want to answer some viewer questions. But first, I'm going to take you guys upstairs and show you the progress that I've made. Excuse the mess. I've been bringing up all kinds of stuff. So if you guys missed it, this whole second floor is going to be a shop. And it's a little dark back in here, so I'm going to put a light up. But I've been bringing up racks, been bringing up all kinds of product. And I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I've actually been getting a couple of bookshelves. I brought this huge door with shelves from my antique booth and I got to still attach it to the wall. I had to get covers for these lights, which believe it or not, are not that easy to find. Here's another bookshelf I got. And yesterday we got the last desk out of here. So now we've got all kinds of room. I'm targeting July 10th for the first sale. So my plan is I'm going to do one sale a month. It's always going to be on a Saturday and I'm just going to try to blow out as much stuff as I possibly can because I've been buying like crazy and I plan on to continue buying like crazy. And I just want to, I need to do that too. Smoke detector has been beeping like crazy and I just want to sell a lot of this stuff. I don't want to hang on to it forever. So I'm going to price it cheap, give people deals. And if you guys want to come to the first sale, I've got an email list down below in the description. So sign up for the email list when we're ready to officially announce the first sale. We'll send out an email with the exact date, the time, address, more pictures of like what's going to be for sale, all that stuff. So definitely sign up below for that. All right, let's answer a couple of questions. First is from Daniel Anderson. Loving the videos, man. Random question. How long do you keep an item up for? For example, if you have something up for well over a year and no one has bought it, do you just sell it super low or just take it down and be done with it? Okay, so I try to sell everything on average in like, I don't know, two or three months, something like that. So I know something's been up for like six months or longer, I'll try to lower the price and then maybe after another few more months, lower the price again. Uh, Lonnie over at the Shed Flips channel has been doing something and I might start doing it. He does, like every single week he does a sale in his store and he runs it for one week and then it ends and he just does another one. So for the first 30 days, he leaves the price alone, doesn't touch it. And then after an item hasn't sold for 30 days, I think he does 
like 10% off, maybe 15% off. And then for anything that's been there over 60 days, I think he does like an extra 5%, 90 days or longer, he might do like 25%. And then like anything like more than like 180 days, I think he might do like 30 or 40%, something like that. So I think it's good to lower the price of items that just have been stale and not moving because you want to sell this stuff. You don't want to hang on to it forever. There are a few exceptions to that. Yearbooks, I like to mess with yearbooks. That's one thing where I think price isn't going to affect it all that much. It just, you know, takes time for the right person to come along. So yearbooks tend to take a lot longer to sell than everything else. Um, clothing can kind of take a little bit longer to sell. But, you know, stuff that normally sells on a regular basis, your price might just be too high if it's not selling. So consider lowering it. All right, next is from Danny R. Hey John, I just thought of a question. So with Brennan and yours new office space, do you think you two would ever go to a storage auction together? I think it would be fun to watch you both go in half on it and show your finds. I haven't been to a storage auction in a really long time. Uh, last year I bought four huge storage units, but that wasn't an auction. It was just like a straight up buy. And there's so much work. That's the thing with storage units. Uh, anybody watching this that has done storage unit auctions or clean outs or whatever, they know how much work is involved in it and how many hours it takes. Um, so I doubt that that's something that we'll do. I just don't have the time to dedicate to that right now. Um, but I think it would be fun to maybe both of us go garage sailing together one day. You know, we can't do it every week because we look for a lot of the same things, but we could do some kind of garage sale ride along. I like that idea. All right, we are pulling orders. First thing is an E6. It is a Funko Pop Mirage. I sold two of these last week and I had a third one. The uh, box on this one was a little bit banged up, so I priced it a little bit lower. This one sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Sold a Funko down here in B6. It is Edward Scissorhands in his face mask. That is so cool, I love that movie. Um, this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And a viewer named Austin bought that for his girlfriend, Haley. Austin, thank you for the support. I hope Haley likes the Funko Pop. Sold another Funko Pop. Sorry, guys. There's going to be a lot of Funko Pops going out today. This is the Mandalorian and the Child on Bantha. Look at Baby Yoda there. That's pretty cool. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Nick. Nick, thank you so much for the support. Going back to B6. Sold an Alexis Rose Funko Pop. This is from Shits Creek. That show is hilarious. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, we're going up to C2 next. I sold this globe. My dad actually found this at a garage sale last weekend for 5 bucks has an awesome look to it. This thing is really cool. The only issue with it is one of the legs is a little bit crooked. You guys might be able to see that. So I made sure I pointed that out in the listing. Had it listed, I think, for like 50 bucks or best offer. A viewer named Sam reached out and offered $40 plus shipping, and I accepted. Sam, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, we're going to D5 next. Sold an NES game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the original Nintendo sleeve. That sold for $15.99 for shipping. Next thing we're shipping out are some pilot wings. It's in this box right here. I had a hundred of these and I decided to sell them in lots of four. And then one buyer got two sets of four. So let's pull out eight of these. These are all going out to viewer named Guy for $23.98 free shipping. Guy, thank you for your support. It means a lot. Next are a pair of shoes up here in B2. I got these as part of a bulk buy, I guess about a month ago now. I had a ton of shoes and these are one of the pairs. They are New Balance size seven and a half. They sold for $19.99 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Jonathan. Jonathan, thanks so much for your support. Sold another NES game over here in D5. It is Overlord. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Sold a pack of Polaroid film in E42. Right here, this was a double pack. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like it was a double originally, but there's just one left in there. And whenever you sell these, make sure that you point out that they're expired. You can't guarantee they're gonna work uh, because I don't think Polaroid's making film like this anymore, the 600 film anyways. So you always wanna point that out. This one expired in 94 and sold for 19.99 free shipping. Sold an NES game up here in D3. This one has the box. It is the Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Let's see, it sold for $44.99 plus shipping going out to a viewer named James. James mentioned getting that graded. So James, thank you for your support. If you do get it graded, I hope it comes back a good grade for you. I'm gonna go and show you guys how I'm gonna pack this. 
some people would maybe just put this in a bubble mailer and ship it off, but I'm not going to do that. I want it to get protected. I don't want this box to get damaged, even though there's a plastic protector. So I'm going to ship it in an 8x6x4 six by four box. And I like having these small boxes on hand because they only weigh about 2-3 ounces. So I can still ship this first class mail. It's going to stay under a pound. So I'm going to put some bubble wrap around it. Got it nice and protected. I'm going to slide it in the box here and there's going to be a little bit of space left over. So I'm going to put some more bubble wrap inside. And we're going to go weigh it just to see what it's going to cost the ship. Just under 12 ounces, not too bad. So that'll be probably four and a half dollars, something like that to ship. Okay, we're going to B3 next, and that Funko you guys just saw me pull, I actually had two of them. And I made two different listings, put them on different racks so I didn't confuse them, because condition on each one was a little bit different, so I just wanted to make sure the buyer got the one that was in the photos. Uh, this is also the Mandalorian and the Child on Bantha from Star Wars, and that sold for $19.99 plus shipping, going out to David, the NC Picker. David, thank you so much for your business. I hope you like the Funko Pop. It's Friday morning. Yesterday, I didn't ship anything out because I had a lot of errands to run. I had a lot of work to do, so I didn't get any eBay orders shipped out. I didn't have that many really to begin with, maybe two or three, but today I've got 11, so I've got to get those out. First thing is an order outside of eBay. This is Mario Kart Double Dash. It does not have the original game. It's just the manual, the case, and the bonus disc. That's going to be named Michael for $40 free shipping. Michael, thank you for the business. I hope you like the game. First eBay thing we're shipping out is some Jurassic Park stickers. We got one pack of yellow and one pack of red. And the two together sold for $13.99 free shipping going out to a viewer named Josu. Josu, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing is a Funko Pop down here in E6. It is Hair Bear from help it's the hair bear bunch only 750 of these were made i guess they were given at a comic con convention i had this priced at 100 dollars, and somebody reached out offering 90 dollars plus shipping and i accepted next is an 832 this is a ken griffey jr bobblehead given away on ken griffey jr night back in 2016 got that at a garage sale for two dollars sold for 34.99 plus shipping next thing's in b31 it is this like worker's hat I've had this for probably six months. I actually got a couple of these made by Super Glass. Pretty cool looking thing. Might be, you know, somebody use it for a costume or something. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Jared. Jared, thanks for the support. I hope you like the hat. Next thing we sold is down in the basement. So let's run down there real quick. Sold a yearbook in G5. As you guys can tell, I went ahead and put up some racks for these so that they'd be a little bit more organized. It is this one right on top, 1942, the Rostrum. That is for Summit Country Day School here in Cincinnati. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Your name Malachi bought that yearbook. He says, hey man, I've been watching your channel for a while and I just wanted to say that I love your videos and the way that you stay positive and honest in each and every one of them. Keep up the amazing work and good luck to you. Malachi, thank you so much for the kind words and thanks for your support. Next order has two items. First is down here in D61. It is a handheld game by Radica, Big Screen Hearts. These can do pretty well, guys, especially if you find them new in the packaging. They can go for really good money. Other thing the buyer got is some Jurassic Park stickers, two packs of them. Everything sold in total for $32.98, going out to a viewer named Matt. Matt, thanks so much for your support. Sold another Funko Pop down here in E6. This is Tony Vresky from Die Hard. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Going out to your name, Alex. Alex, thanks so much for the business. It means a lot. All right, we got another order with two items. First is an A51. This is one of those Harry Potter figures. You guys saw me pick up at that garage sale. It's Hermione Granger. Same buyer got another Harry Potter figure in E31. This is... Hagrid, and I think these might be the last two I have from that big buy. These sold for $19.98 plus shipping, going out to your name, Casey. Casey, thanks so much for the support. I hope you like that stuff. Sold a video game in D3. Double dribble with the box, manual, and everything. That's sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Sold some more Jurassic Park stickers. These things are flying off the shelf. All right, I've got a yellow and a red here. These sold for $13.99 free shipping, going out to your name, Buddy. 
But he says, I bought these for my three and a half year old grandson, Brantley. Can you throw in a couple of your stickers also? Thanks. Keep up the great videos. Buddy, hope your grandson likes those stickers, and I'll definitely throw in some of my stickers too. All right, guys, last thing we're shipping out today is an NES game. Let's see. It is Thunder and Lightning with a sleeve. That sold for $21.99. Free shipping going out to your name, Alex. Alex, thanks for the business. I hope you like the game. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.